Hello, this is Worldwide Geography, a channel all about geography. Welcome to the colossal wonderland of Alaska, a state larger than life but with a surprisingly sparse population. Join me on a journey through its history, rugged landscapes, and unique challenges as we unravel the mystery behind Alaska's strikingly low population density. Behold Alaska a colossal wonder that dwarfs major world powers like the United Kingdom, Germany, Japan, and France. This mammoth state isn't just larger than each of these nations individually. It's a staggering 12.5% bigger than all four of them combined. In fact, Alaska sits among the top 15 largest countries globally, outstripping most recognized by the UN, in sheer size. However, its immense expanse doesn't translate into a populace akin to these global counterparts. While Alaska sprawls over six times the area of the United Kingdom, its population of 736,000 residents is a mere 2% of its British counterpart. It's a stunning contrast that highlights the grand scale of Alaska's land mass against its relatively sparse population. And even the relatively modest state of Pennsylvania has a population that outnumbers Alaska's by about 20-fold, meaning that Alaska has a population more in line with moderately popular U.S cities the nations or powerhouse states with just the city core of san antonio having a population that about double the entire massively sized state of alaska to understand why that is and how alaska has so few residents especially for a state of its considerable size we should rewind back through alaskan history so that we can properly evaluate this predicament it finds itself in today the history of modern Alaska started when the United States purchased it from Russia for $7.2 million in 1867. Now that Alaska hadn't yet become a state back then. No, it was known as the Territory of Alaska all the way up until January 3, 1959. But Alaska and Hawaii, surprisingly enough, became the 49th and 50th U.S. states, respectively. Of course, a lot happened in that 92 years between Alaska's purchase and its statehood though gold was discovered in 1880. In the tapestry of Alaskan history, milestones abound. Juno's incorporation in 1900 marked the dawn of a new era, swiftly followed by Fairbanks in 1903 and the burgeoning Anchorage in 1915. Denali National Park, a testament to natural splendor, emerged just two years later in 1917. The rhythm of progress quickened with the completion of the Alaskan Railroad in 1923 paving the way for the transformative Alaska Highway System in 1942. These milestones paint a vivid picture of Alaska's formative years, showcasing its evolution from early settlements to burgeoning infrastructure. Yet, beyond this tapestry lies an even more consequential chapter. Alaska's journey post-statehood. A seismic shift occurred just before Alaska's statehood, the discovery of oil. This moment is fined, akin to unlocking a river of possibilities, fundamentally reshaped Alaska's place within American society. The tale of Alaska since then, intricately woven with the narrative of oil's discovery, continues to echo through time. Further oil deposits were quickly found across the state of Alaska, solidifying the state as a hotspot for one of the most important natural resources in modern times. Of course, like Hawaii, Alaska isn't part of the contiguous United States. No, in a perfect world. It's about 500 miles from the state of Washington. But travel between the lower 48 and Alaska requires passage through Canadian provinces, making that trip from Washington more along the lines of a couple of thousand miles. In reality, that incredible distance to the lower 48 necessitated the Trans-Alaskan Pipeline completed in 1977, but only after a remarkable level of setbacks, pushback and payoffs. Let's pivot back to the core of this video, why Alaska remains sparsely populated. While we've delved into Alaska's early days, let's fast forward to 1970, a pivotal year. By then, Alaska's population had surged from 226,000 a decade earlier to 300,000, largely centered in bustling urban hubs fueled by the thriving oil and construction industries. A robust growth rate of around 32% marked this era. However, had this rapid expansion continued from 1970 till today, the state would boast approximately 1.1 million inhabitants, a significant 34% increase from its current 732,000. Yet, even with such growth, Alaska would still stand as one of the nation's least populated states, despite its colossal size. The gap between its vast expanse and sparse population remains a striking facet of its identity. Of course, that growth rate didn't hold up, though, 
as the state of Alaska is significantly short of even a million residents today. I believe there are several reasons for that. For Alaska's small population and very low population density. I'm sure you already know that much of it comes down to Alaska's geography and climate. Because while Alaska's geography and climate differ from region to region, like any place else on the whole, the state. Alaska is brutally cold and mountainous with harsh topography that's often frozen and difficult to traverse. Between November and March, Alaska experiences an average statewide temperature fluctuating between 0 degrees and a bone-chilling 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It boasts a staggering natural portfolio 17 out of the 20 tallest mountain peaks in the United States, an impressive array of over 3 million lakes, and an astonishing network of 3,000 rivers. The region is alive with seismic activity, enduring more earthquakes than any other part of the United States, hindering developmental efforts for over a century. But Alaska's challenge isn't solely due to its natural extremes or its distant northern position, separated from the contiguous United States. Before we unravel why Alaska remains sparsely populated, it's crucial to understand why 736,000 people do call it home. Firstly, Alaska extends tangible financial perks to its residents and businesses, standing among the select eight states without an individual income tax. Moreover, through the Alaska Permanent Fund, Residents receive dividends from the state's surplus oil revenues, an uncommon financial safety net that eases economic concerns absent in many other states grappling with escalating expenses. In Alaska, residents enjoy a slice of the state's investment income surplus annually. The state flaunts a comfortable median household income of approximately $80,000, coupled with a modest median home price of $338,000. Anchored by thriving sectors like tourism, oil, gas, construction, and real estate, Alaska boasts a robust economy garnering a total GDP near $50 billion and ranking sixth in per capita GDP, touching almost $70,000. Yet, beyond these compelling figures, it's Alaska's distinctive allure that truly beckons. Its breathtaking landscapes, wide open spaces, and a staunch focus on personal freedom serve as magnetic draws. However, Let's not mistake it for a sin-bother's paradise, despite Alaska boasting more coastline than the contiguous 48 states combined. Much of it is cloaked in ice. Here, ruggedness reigns supreme. The Alaskan culture celebrates individualism, nature, and recreation as its core ethos. We've discussed the formidable hurdles, harsh winters, challenging terrain, and Alaska's remote disposition, all pivotal factors contributing to its limited populace. But there's more to the story. Alaska's late entry into statehood, a mere 63 years ago, has left its mark. The vast tracts of land under government or corporate ownership, coupled with geographic complexities rendering swaths unusable, present additional barriers. While affordable housing and decent incomes exist, they struggle to keep pace with soaring goods prices, attributed to shipping and warehousing complexities outside traditional supply chains. Alaska's reality is an icy embrace lacking some urban comforts, and teeming with wildlife features that don't always appeal universally. It's a place of stark beauty. But challenges linger beneath the surface, 